Alright. We got Decidueye versus Machamp. Let's go, Burb. Um. <laughs> yeah, stage is banned. Anyway, I. I, to get rid of my salt paper is giving me her Drago. This is good. This is good. Or is it Drago? Is it a Drago? I'll, I'll cradle him. Don't worry, paper, I'll cradle him. Alright. So into the match here. Put on some nice range pressure here. Definitely something about Sidwise that he really prefers to be in about mid-range. It's really hard for um, a champ to really deal with. But of course, this guy is just a few conversions, like that submission there, to really get an advantage. Who is running Sylveon? Which is, I, I can agree with that. Um, again, with the character of Wugu, I can really like to be in mid-range. Making sure that you don't take too much damage when um, a champ can eventually get in. It's very, very important. This guy is in a pretty big lead now. He's definitely um, really working out with uh, how he's going to get it and how much damage he's going to do. Right, so, ooh, getting something with that 8 wide. That doesn't really hurt much. I think that only does um, combos in, like, in combos or anti air, if I remember correctly. So, anyway, Sky Raisin winning that first round there. Nice, nice spear. Shack one there. Of course, it doesn't really mean too much at the beginning of the round, as soon as that EV isn't ready yet. And of course, it only lasts about 4 seconds, so we should go alone for like, that um, support debuff. <laughs> Alright. So we have double bursting opponents going on right now. Oh, okay, so that first two damage there, not quite a whole lot. Uh, Alright. Now, because we're going to be putting up that defense up, but Skyrim is equalizing it with that EB buff as well. So getting some nice movement there from Tori Moon. Some nice combo conversions there. Oh, it does drop it though at the very end. Ooh, okay, missing footed frenzy plant there. Not the actual name of that, it's supposed to be a little bit later. Alright, some nice combos from Skyrise. Keeps up that corner pressure. Oh, it's hitting off those last few hits of um, 4x there. But now we're looking for you to pretty fast land. Yeah, I need to do a little bit more chip, I think, to really solidify his health lead right now. Going for the timeout. Skyrise just needs to get a few more hits. And that is not what he wanted right there. Alright. Oh, that doesn't quite kill, but. All right, uh-oh, Fumu popping off. All right, Fumu popping off, getting a new chair. <laughs> All right, this guy's gonna say it's something very important. Due to a timeout, the winner of the timeout actually does not get their um, cheer skill activating. So, Fumu didn't quite get his cheer um, right away, uh, his support synergy right away. It'll just snag that nugget and get it. Of course, win that first skill phase. Yeah, um, that's what he's looking for. Maybe a jump back A. Alright. This guy's getting a few pokes in right now. Ooh, that is very punishable. Even some fishing comes in. We'll punish that. Oh my sweet Jesus, that did a lot of damage. Alright. Yeah, that's the thing about Machamp. Especially with that EV buff. Exemplifying the huge damage. Whoa! That damage came out of nowhere there. Skyways and snagging that first game. Very, very quickly right there. Of course, we might see a change here from Fumu, or he could be sticking to good old Burb. Or no. Alright, so we're sticking to Decidue right here. Definitely keep some distance right now, using those release wise. Really, really keep up pressure. But 
Oh, nice reversal to cross up and gain a crit acrobatics. Not able to combo off of it though, dude. Going the wrong way. We're putting up those traps with the 5A. Alright, here comes Froggy Gear, not able to find the jump, but put up a neutral situation. Oh, just barely missing the heavy slam. Oh, and then, of course, air grab, fair and balance move. Alright, oh, he was going for a bad fight setup there, and actually worked out in his favor. Snags and vulnerable frames with Fury Swipes, that's something that's very, very, very good at. Dude, the whole combo being consistent with a lot of multi Alright, nice 2Y in there, very, very quick move. I think it's really Definitely looks like it. Um, Alright, so we're gonna use that frog deer. Open up the situation, put a hard knockdown on Sky Raisin. Oh, nice baiting out something right there, but counter who's now in the health lead. He's gonna go ahead and activate his burst. That we seem to really utilize against a slow burst character like Machamp. Oh, Magnemite actually connecting there. Ooh, okay, so here comes the burst activation. Not gonna be able to land much, but gonna put this guy in a bad situation, very, very far away. We just gotta keep backing it up. Oh, so that camera did land, but because it wasn't a crit, does not enough, they, not enough damage to snag that ramp for Sky Raisin. And of course, though, not getting his um, cheer skill going, though, so it is gonna be a bit of a disadvantage. Now. Let's say both players are running special cheer, by the way. Alright, so nice dive kick right there. Pumu, of course, doing a very good job backing up. One thing um, that this is really very, very good at is um, his back walking is one of the, the fastest in the game. Could be wrong about that. Oh, and there's a combo. It's a close combat. Big damage for Sky Raisin right now. He already has his um, energy burst ready in the back. Alright, here comes Frogadier right when it's ready to go. Pumu making good use of it. They have a combo into it, actually. I think it's a bit more damage. Oh, that's punishable, but guys, it's not. Ooh, that was very, very scary. It looked like that was gonna get crit crass out of the air, but such punch. Oh, here comes a combo though from Scary Face, but scaling is a thing. It might save Fumu right here. Let's see. Oh, yep, I think Scary's recognized that and went for a wake up slap. A smarter option. Alright, so now Scary's going into his first. Oh my god, and JY actually. Um, stuffing the burst right there, but of course, Fumi is in a bit of an advantage because he did make Sky Raisin lose his burst, and because the champ is a 200cc character, it's a little bit unlikely that he'll be able to snag it for this next round. Um, it's very possible. But the champ doesn't really have a whole lot of sandy building techniques. So, my frog here opening up some nice situations. Oh, combo missed a little bit there from Fumi. So Fumu really stacking on that with, um, support there. The Tokus is not quite ready to go yet, but it's still lasts quite a while. The more you stack on, the more you charge actually increases the time. Oh, and there's a crit uh, counter right there, able to get a free bulk up and some advantage. Oh, so Friends of Mine just barely connecting right there for some good damage. I don't think there's a whole lot of damage on the tip like that, but there are points where it could be crazy now. For the, I think that's a true shield break right there. I don't think there's anything that's ever been done to avoid that. Very nice timing there. Oh, and there's the acrobatic. Oh, actually, still did a fair amount. I think that's that's still less than usual because he um, has his first ready to go. Um, Fumu is in a huge, huge advantage because he has that first in the back. And Skyrim is a uh, little help. And that's going to be it right there. I had to hold my breath up for that for a second. Fumu taking game two here, going 1-1. One, one. Sky Raisin, of course, this is his best of five for a first round. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the air draft has some weird properties. Um, weird, weird properties. Nobody likes it anyways. <laughs> Going into the next game here, so of course both players rock in their same supports. Sorry, team. Do my best. Okay. Uh, so now we need to do a 
of damage in right now. Has a frog gear ready to go whenever he needs to go ahead and pop it. I don't know if he always uses the frog gear whenever he can. It's always pretty good because the point of the frog gear is to help out in your neutral. So the more you can get out of the combat. Oh, that was an interesting interaction right there. So the guy didn't went for a solution 8Y, which is a high. And because uh, if he was able to duck out of the 2Y, he took the out of the neutral, even though he, um, 2Y came out slower. Oh, nice, nice move by Fubu. Oh, nice paint steering though by Skyrim able to snag that approach, which can be pretty tricky to land. There's some good damage right there, causing a phase change. Fubu in a good situation. And able to keep um, Skyrim away for about 20 more seconds, so. Or snag the victory. Oh, actually, Frog Gear. Messing up the fines right there, but still. Skyrim actually is able to get into it first. No, that's just not. Oh, Fumu is not able to get away quite yet. Now Skyrim is going to be snagging that first round right there. But Fumu is going to have his synergy for the next round. That is important to note. Alright, I think. I think, um, playing the, uh, keep looking for the most is very effective strategy that Fumu is doing right now. Um. Especially against um, Jim Chan, as Sidra has a very, very good first goal that he can keep him away. He's also still really risky as a champ, especially when you get him to lower damage. He can really, really suck on the pain. Alright, here comes the Magneton, a Magnemite setup. This is an absolutely dirty chip setup. The opponent decides to counter or try and get out of it. They are in range of burst right there. Alright, so Fumu able to do a nice amount of shield damage and, um, but okay, so Scary's able to get that submission punish. Not a crit and an enhance. Oh, another submission punish. Fumu just losing that health right. Alright, so Scary's doing a nice job moving back and forth, baiting options. And there's another submission. How many submissions is he gonna get? This is nuts. And there's the grab right there. So Fumu losing that game two right there. Scary's gonna look at 2-1. We could be getting a bracket reset here, folks. Let's see though, is Fumu gonna stick to the right? He might be seeing a change here. Oh, we are seeing a change. All right. Character choice right now. We could be seeing some options. Um, the three main ones are Boys Can Move Out and Sidri. Oh, perfect. we are going to see a good old fashioned Boys Can. I think I saw him running. Um, so, yeah, support, which I can agree with. Um, HP is something that Boys Can really, really, really needs to um, conserve, and having that defense buff can really, really help. I wonder actually if. I wonder if the defense buff actually affects how much reflex you take. I wonder if that's a thing. Okay, I know it can affect your shield chip, so I wonder if that's a thing. You have to ask about that. Alright. Well, it's going to some big damage right here. Sky Ray is getting some nice 2 max combos. Ooh, does drop it right in the wall though. And there's a submission. This is going to be a lot of damage. This is going to be a scary situation. Oh, that face shit though. Game Fumu on his last leg. Here comes Sylvia on for a little bit of health. Oh, gets done from Sky Raven. Oh, submission not actually landing. Fumu is in the air. Alright, so now Fumu laying a hit. This could be a big reversal opportunity. Fumu is still alive. Oh, that JX is snagging it right there. Sky is taking that first round. Fumu does have a full synergy burst though. Let's see if he can make some good utilization of that. Again, I really do um, approve of the Sylveon choice because, of course, Blaze can, can burn through his health oh so quickly. So it's good. To, it's good to remember that, like, making sure like, you don't when you get hit, you don't take not take too much damage, especially against big damage characters like Lightning. Um, oh, that was a Mega Blaze can go. Gonna put on some pressure on Sky. Sky's gonna activate his own burst in response. 
be a first standoff. He's going to be getting the most damage here. Nice footwork by both players. Waiting to bait out some options. Ooh, here comes some blaze kicks, though. Oh, and here comes the first activation. He's going to land. This guy is going to press a few buttons. Don't you know uh, Blaze Kitten's first sh a shield pierces? Yep, yeah. Yep, of course. Oh, <laughs> nice home attack by um, Skyrazen. Oh, that is it. Ooh, what? Wait, I've never seen that before. Okay, that's new. Oh, he, he was able to avoid the crit though, and the defense buff is going to help out quite a bit there. Oh, of course. Oh, that still counts as a low, actually. That's interesting. Oh, and there we go. We have enough 1 HP. Skyrazen's on the last legs. Of course, though, on the last legs, my champ can still do some big work. And there's a counter right there. Fumu taking that round. Going to round three. This is match point for Skyrazen, so Fumu does have to play on his game. We're going to see a bracket reset. Oh, wait. Oh, nice use of that back Y. Um, able to beat out the projectile of JY there. And that heat wave is going to lead to some, not the great damage, but that attack team up is absolutely invaluable in a matchup like this. Alright, and of course we're getting Mega Blazing coming out here, putting on some huge pressure on the Sky Raven. Gonna need to pop his own burst pretty soon, and there it is, right there. Though still at a pretty big advantage. And here we go. No burst activation. Blaziken is going to win this. His burst is notorious for being able to beat other bursts in a 1v1. So there he goes. He's a big damage. Those things in a huge way into Fumu's favor right now. And he has Sylveon on the back too when he hasn't used it. He's going to go and pop it. We could be seeing a perfect here if he plays the cards right. Oh, but there we go. Guy using uh, snacks and hits right there. Put on some big pressure right now. This could be deadly. Oh, this could be exactly what Skyrim needs. Some big, big momentum shifts. Oh, there we go. Some nice damage with those boys. He's from Fumu. Fumu doing some nice work and utilizing his speed boost to the absolute maximum. So, but Skyrim is in the rage. 272 HP. That is something that the champ could delete very quickly. Ooh. Okay, that was an interesting interaction there. So, nice counters. Oh, this is here for both players, and there we go, the high jump kick, snagging that victory, Fumu taking this thing, game five. Alright, so here we go, game five situation, can Fumu snag the victory here, or Skyrim are going to have another chance at this set here, in a bracket reset. Well, let's find out. Right, here we go, we're in this here. Oh, that is gonna be countered, but not gonna be able to quite punish, but that place kick though is gonna be some good damage. And both things completely across the stage. Boom, we can get saved once again out of that wall. Be careful though, to make sure he doesn't stay in that get back. That's exactly what. Oh my goodness, that was the 360 submission, but unlike for me where that's happened to, Fumu was able to abuse that and punish Skyrim. Alrighty. Oh, that's not quite working though. Defensive though is helping quite a bit. Oh, Fumu not getting grabbed right there, able to punish with his blaze kicks. Oh, nice spacing by Fumu, recognizing him. Oh, this would be interesting. Alright, so Fumu able to avoid that. Go to his burst, he has some health that's gonna be getting back here pretty soon. Oh! Oh, cross up there. Unfortunate situation. And... Oh, okay, here we go. So Fumu still in this. It's still very possible. That rage, what he can do some damage. Fumu getting some health back though with the um, first tank, where if you don't, um land any attack and you, your opponent doesn't hit you, you actually start re-getting health at a very slow rate. You have to like, get a little bit at that, but not enough to save him there. Alright, so now Fumu needs to step it up here. I don't want the bracket reset. <laughs> nice, nice spacing by Fumu. They're recognizing the 2x, 2rx. I believe that's what the notation is for that move. 
Alright, so now Fumi just have his burst at the ready. If he calls it, he's gonna be in a pretty big situation. This guy's not having his own burst to react with. Oh, Karayashop actually snagging some lower frames there. Alright. Ooh, this guy's actually able to continue the combo. Alright, comes the BB. And a burst activation from Fumu. Oh, here comes the combo? Not quite. I feel like on the way to JY, it's kind of hard to combo with. Um, it can be so a bit strange how it interacts with things. Oh, there's JX though. And this guy's going into his own burst. Uh, oh, this is gonna miss. How much damage is he doing? Oh, okay, so Fumi still has some HP to work with here. And there's a shield. Oh! JY actually anti airing Fumu's Blaze Kicks. This is going into a bracket reset here. Alright, so let's see. It's a very, very strange mechanic to a champ's JY. Going into another best of five set here for Fu Moon Scares. We're not done yet here. Okay, so let's see. If, okay, I wasn't quite looking at the screen. So we are seeing the boys skin here. Definitely had some really, really good. Um, Showing here against Sky Rays in the chain. So let's see how overall it works out. Definitely a very, very even match here. Okay. Oh, so actually, Kenny's flashing right there. I've never seen that with these two characters. Yeah, well, it's not usually Blaze Kenny's. Uh? Oh, JY not safe from there, but what a crit. This is gonna be some big damage though. Oh, and there's a submission though. This is gonna be some good damage to the bulk up. You guys doing such a good job keeping his bulk ups out because that really, really affects his damage output in a huge way. Sylveon coming out, they're gonna get some HP and an invaluable defense buff. Even though the, the weird crosses cannot save you from Machamp's counter as it is a full circle right there. This guy isn't able to snag that without taking too much damage here. Alright, that was an interesting choice. I saw who actually picked Krogunk. Um, that's an interesting support choice. I've never really seen him use that before. Um, I guess the defensive buff against a character like Machamp um, with his 660 health, that could really, really be really big because with 660 health, you can just pull through a lot of stuff from Blaziken. Okay, so we got activate Krogunk here. Save him actually from the combo. That's an interesting interaction right there. So not only do you save the gun, but also apply the defense debuff. Alright. Oh, another double burst activation. This is gonna actually be doing quite a bit of damage to Sky Razor. As a defensive of the quite a bit. Uh probably gonna be losing all around 200 HP. Maybe even more or less. 184. Okay, so now. Fumi in a pretty big, pretty big lead right now. Oh, that's a nice punish and a kill right there. Fumi dying that second round. See, I, I do like the use of Krogunk there, but it's a bit, a bit scary because um, Champ could always grab you and cancel out that Krogunk. So that's always a very scary situation. That was very, very excellent usage by Fumi. Okay, kiss. Coming out. Oh, so there we go. Fumu actually utilizes one of the new features that is has with the double JY air dash. Alright, so both players are just trading blows. Trying to find some footing here. Oh, yeah, there's a 6 YYY mix up. And there's the damage right there. Is that it? Not quite yet, though. Fumu does have his burst ready to go. He's not have to use it here. Alright. And here comes Kroga. Oh, some weird, weird interactions there. We're putting on some huge pressure right now. Actually, um, Kroga actually increases 
um, shield damage there. So that's, I don't think there's for the shield to happen there before the fight doesn't quite happen. Ooh, and there's Way6 snagging that kill. Fumu taking the first game. So like I said, when you have a defense debuff or a defense buff, it actually affects the strength of your shield and the shield chip that you take. So actually there, when Fumu got the defense buff, a debuff from the Krogon, he was doing a lot more shield damage than what he used to, so he might not have expected that shield break to happen right there. Which might have been why he's not able to get a two punch, but still, if he did that in the whole in the long run, he was able to snag that game in a very, very, very um, good way. I do really like um, Fumu's usage of Krogunk as both that one time when he used it as a way to get out of combat and also as a way to increase his damage. Very, very good usage. Let's see if Scarys can adapt to it though. Scarys, okay, able to hit with that um, counter. Oh, Boo not falling for that mix again, but that counter is going to be able to snag that last hit. Ooh, and JX though, snagging it here. Also, it's kind of weird, um, because of the new uh, way DX works is the stages, um, you can do any stage with the same way. It's kind of weird to see um, back at Stadium on the way, it's kind of bittersweet. Alright. Okay, Fumu setting up Krogunk. This can be really good to um, stall time against the champions. He really, really has to stay out of that. He has no way to work work outside of it, so it can really, really be a good thing to so really just give yourself a Alright, so both players just trying to find opportunities. You guys both know if they see something worth in their burst. Oh, again, double burst activation. Fumu doing so good at that. Sky is, is gonna have to suffer for it. It's gonna be doing some good damage, of course, give Fumu an invaluable speed buff, which he knows how to use, definitely. Um what Fumu definitely has good use of the speed buff. That movement right there. Alright. Oh, he's weaving back and forth. Alright, Glow has a huge pressure right now. He got the blaze kicks, blaze kicks, the blaze kicks, snagging that round right there. Fumu is not out yet. Of course, getting his support, uh, his synergy back up to about half with his special spear skill. I was just trying to get something here. Throwing out some projectiles, but of course the chance projectiles are not the best. Um, definitely pretty slow, but they are. It's a crit homie attack though. Fumu will be taking a whole lot of damage. 6 Y into grab mix up. Fumu giving Skyrim a case of his own medicine. Nice. Now. Oh, that's up. He's gonna punish right here. Fumu. Snagging though that hit on the 6 line. And here comes Krona again. King Fu out of a really dangerous situation. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Air grab. Doing its wonders. Ooh. Trying to get in here. Do some damage. Oh, that's a shield break right there. And that's gonna be a burst. Okay, there is gonna do some damage though because scaling does occur after each shield break. Not gonna be doing as much critical, but range still gonna be doing some damage nonetheless. And good stuff right there, getting a speed buff as well, so Fumu able to like, keep up his movement. Oh my god, the speed is so hard to react to. Alright. So now Fumu is in the lead right now in a pretty decisive manner too. So he does have to get quite a bit more to, to get to his first. Oh, but there we go, that 2x. And that victory. Skyrim is taking game two right there of the bracket reset. It's definitely close between both players. Um both are definitely doing a good job keeping their neutral up and at them. That one is going to put some shield push back though, which is very valuable against this, uh, against the uh, Machamp matchup. Be able to keep him out. Ooh, CDC grab though, going to put some nice damage onto the board. Ooh, I think that was a bit input grab there. Oh, Stumu did activate his, burst, uh, his counter first, so he'll give him some nice damage off. Ooh, low high jump kick going to lead to some good damage. This 6YY, I believe it is. He has two options in DX, by the way. That's a 6YY variation. 86YY. Ooh, okay, so Camp on the board wide for Machamp. Do not last very long. 
Oh, and that's what I was talking about earlier with the grab that actually lets you get out of um, Krogan's situation. This grab actually gets rid of Krogan on the field. Alright, Koki is gonna be popped here, so Sky is gonna be able to keep up his mobility. Ooh, that's gonna be big damage to Crit Flare Blitz. Who's gonna go and activate his burst, trying to get some, some advantage back into his favor? Throwing out some walls of attack right now. Put on pressure immediately. Put no fear into this. Oh, is that it? Oh, Fumu just living on just a little bit of HP. This is a very serious situation. It's one more hit for both players. He's gonna be able to snag this. Oh, Blaze Kick's counter piercing properties. It will snag that right there. Fumu taking that first round, but that was very, very scary for both players. Fumu made them whip off that crap. 2 HP. Players just trying to find some opportunities, being very careful with the moves they throw out because they know if they mess it up, they can take big damage. And there's another mix up right there. 6Y into grab. Again, Fumu just giving Skyrim some taste of his own best. Not falling for any more CDC grab. Fumu in a pretty big lead right now. That's his first out of the ready. Might want to wait a second. Oh, there we go. Interrupt the 6X there. Getting rid of Skyrim's in the approach option. Alright, Krogan is on the board, but I would not recommend you it right now. Oh, here we go. Fumu gonna activate his first. I think that is going to kill unless um, Synergy Armor has something to say about it. Let's see. Oh, he could. Oh, not quite yet, though. Alright, but Fumu just needs to do a little bit more damage. Oh, so Krogan actually able to do that. And there we go. Fumu taking that sec third game. We're 2 1 now. So Still best of five setups. Fumu just needs to win more and more games. Sky Reason is on his last chance right now in going into this next game. Yeah, Fumu snagged this victory. We are getting a chain from Sky Reason though. Um, could be a change of support. Let's see who's been running Togekiss so far, which is. We can see that he's going to be changing because Togekiss really seems to be helping him out a lot. Um, is he probably going back to ED, what he was using before? Maybe Sylveon. Um. Good to see. Oh, sorry, guys. Getting tired here. Alright, so. Who actually consistently going for program now? Alright, Skyrim is now going EV, so it's going to be upping his damage and getting his health back as well whenever he uses it. Alright. Again, both players really doing a nice job keeping up their neutral and being very, very conservative with these actions that are out. Not doing anything reckless. Oh, big damage out and carry him through the wall. Skyrim is putting up some good, good damage right here. Who was able to get out of it with the blaze kicks? Who is not falling anymore for that 6YY line? Oh, so Skyrim actually put in a submission there. That's an interesting option. Oh, phase change right there does get rid of some throw gun. Oh, who is in a bad situation? Not falling before. Um, submission though. Oh, okay, so that, um, Air Dash, so not able to save Fumu from that round. Of course, he is gonna have his burst nearly ready to go, and of course, have Krogan also at his back. Nice, he's a back wide, predicting the projectile usage. Alright, so now Fumu just trying to bait out an option right here. Oh, throwing some damage right now. There's a hard knockdown with the counter. Pushing Skyrim into the wall and activating his burst. Ooh, that was a nice combo right there. For added wall damage. Oh, okay, that is a punish right there. It's gonna be some good damage for Skyrim. Then he's gonna even take up more. Probably gonna do that same as himself. 187. Oh, so Fumu is nice. Not getting grabbed right there with the home intact activation. Here comes Cronun, put things in a bit of a scary situation, forcing Skyrim to back it up. Letting Fumu safely wait out the rest of this burst. Alright. So now um, Fumu able to. Place oh, and that is gonna be a punish right there. Blaze kick. Not gonna kill him though, but add some nice damage and put things into Fumu's server. Nice use of that 5A. Walling the guy out. Oh, and Karai out there snagging it. Skyrim is holding on to his dear life there. 
going into game five. Bracket reset. All right, here we go. Let's see if Fumu snags that or Sky is gonna pull it off from the loser's side. This is it, guys. This is what we've all been waiting for. Fumu again using Krogunk. I really do appreciate that um, usage. It's something we don't really see here in um, Press and Pokemon. So he's gonna be able to use it to his advantage and has been since his old set. Alright, so now Fumu just trying to stay safe here. Nice high jump kick, predicting the counter. Oh, that is gonna be a missile. It's gonna be a hard knockdown. I think um, Fumu expecting a. Air grab right there. Ooh, this is gonna be big damage. And boost the smoke up, I believe. Yep, that's 180 right there. Oh, nice able to input attack. Oh, interesting situation. All right, here comes Krogunk. Nice job spacing himself. Us guys need to be able to work around it. All right, let's see. Oh, Fumu. Quickly bring this back in favor. What is Geek snagging that for the first round? I find himself in a great situation where he has his burst going into the next round. Sky is also work a bit for his own. This is to be looking at a very, very clean victory here. Oh, this guy is saying no to that charge on the back right there. Of course, Moon just slamming straight into that shield. Nice chip. Oh, not able to work around that heavy slam though. Guys, I'm gonna be able to convert that into a combo as well. Does not drop it with that 5x. Maybe he said that is optimal, or at least close to it. So he did a very good job wasting away Fumu's burst right there, and he's actually like, sitting at his own, which he can be used at any point and really up his pressure. Oh, missed high jump kick is gonna be dangerous. Fumu just really not want to get grabbed. Like, he's getting hit by attack now. Ooh, risky Krogunk, cause that's up close! Oh, does not have much end lag on it. Oh my god, so Krogunk actually hit Sky out of the blaze case, letting him able to be able to shield here. Sky did a nice job conserving his burst, and going to the last round with it. Probably holding on to wait for it. Tells, um, actually oh, JX actually able to beat that. Okay. Oh, here comes burst from Sky Raiden. Krogan coming out. All right, Elza, why that team up? Oh, there we go. That's a very, very important uh, for Fumu. Now he's going to be able to activate his burst and able to lay that pressure right back down on Sky Raising. All right, you got the burst activation for Sky Raising. Push him away. You just need one, one big hit. He could be very, very good. Oh, not nice getting hit there. Look, nice grab there. Not taking um, the pokes there. Oh, big, big, big damage. This is very, very important for Fumu. This could be big. Fumu has so much HP. Sky has to play so safe. Oh, this could be very big. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Yes, Fumu snagging it right there. Able to beat Sky Raisin. Game five. There we go. Snagging first place at the weekly here at Nebraska Pokemon. Awesome stuff. That was so, so.